Real faith is always active. Faith requires you to move. It requires you to do something. There's action involved in faith. We see this very clearly in the story of the 5,000. Let me lay this story out for you uh, briefly again so you'll see this action that's going on here. Jesus sees the crowd. Philip, what are we going to do? Philip says, I don't know. Andrew says, there's, there's a guy here with five loaves and two fish. Here's what I want you to see. Here's the turning point in this story. Because everything turns when they stop talking and start doing something. Everything changes when they stop talking and they start doing something. See, it's easy to jab about your faith. It's a different thing when you live your faith. Amen? And so everything changes in the story when action shows up. And here's the action that shows up. Jesus gave thanks to God. Did he not? The little boy gave his lunch to Jesus. Jesus gave thanks to God. And then after giving thanks to God, Jesus gave pieces of the bread and fish to the disciples. And the disciples then gave it to the people. What is the word that keeps showing up here? Do you know that gave is a verb? It's an action word. They started doing something that set a miracle in motion. Had there been no giving, there would have been no miracle. Jesus used the action. He says, I want you to realize that you're going to be involved in this miracle. Faith is not just me doing something for you without your engagement, your involvement. No, faith involves your activity as well. I move when you move. I act when you start acting. I I do things when you start doing things in your life. There are a lot of Christians, oh, why is God not moving in my life? Because you're not moving. James the Apostle talks about this. In the same way, faith by itself. Did you see that? Faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action. What is it? It's just dead faith. It's not doing a single thing. But someone will say, you have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without, your, without deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. How do we show our faith? We show that we have real faith by what? By our deeds.